Mailbox? Nothing. It's empty. I get the feeling it's been that way for a while. And we've got Buckner House sign. Any of you, an old man in scraggly beard and a big red nose, plain looking, sturdily built young woman with a scowl on her face, a tall man with facial tattoos and a large bone through his nose, or someone who could be a trapper. He winks at me. Welcome, friend. Hope you like our city. If you're anxious, try the bathhouse. There's bug men out in the hills. Hope you like our city. Hello there. Nice to see someone new in town. I guess travels ain't so bad after all. Nice to have you here. Say hello to Silik yet. Trapping's good. Right, okay. So, nothing really. Let's talk to her. Hello there. Oh my god. Hello there. My name's Adrian Buckner, and this is my place. Say, you don't look like a trapper. You didn't see a trapper named Smiley outside of town, did you? He's been gone for too long. Never should let him go off on that fool quest of his. Smiley, no, I haven't seen a trapper by that name. Tell me about him. Need something else. I think I'll be moving along. Let's talk about him. Getting downright serious with each other. Thought I'd finally gotten him to agree to settle down here and help me run this place, but he said he needed to go off on one last quest. Well, he called it a quest. He told me that... He, to he told me he thought he knew where all the golden geckos come from, and he wanted to rid it, rid, I can't read, and he wanted to find out for sure. He thought that maybe it was some kind of magical spring, or maybe a hidden cave or vault of some sort. Hmm. Well, I don't rightly know what all he said, but he seemed to be really excited about going, but I wouldn't have to let him go. I shouldn't have let him go. He's two weeks later, getting back. Then he said he'd be, and I'm worried. It's too bad, maybe he just ran out on you. I think I know why he would too. Jesus. Sorry to hear that. I'd like to help. I could look for him for you. Oh, thank you. Let me mark it on your map. I uh, hope you can find him. He isn't much, but I still love him and miss him more than I thought I could. Please find him for me. I'll do my best. I'll do what I can. Let me ask you something first. I'll do my best. Right. Talk to him. Howdy, stranger. Name's Whiskey Bob. Yours. I'm Yeti. Nice to meet you. I'm Yeti, what's happening here? I don't think you need to know my name. Nice to find another drinking buddy. Want to buy me a drink? Talking always makes me thirsty. <sighs> Maybe you should be providing the name with a name like Whiskey Bob. Can't afford to. I can't afford to. I love to see you around here. Cute stuff. Goodbye. Yeah. Everybody's kind of flirty with me. And Sulik. Jesus Cramini. Okay. Uh, who's we? Where can I find trade healer or room? Ever hear of a geck? What's going on? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Slavers got our sis. Don't think me having information. Couldn't peep him. Got peeled. Drank like a fish. Spirits of anger and chaos pop out, and now we have to pay some coin to make it right. You were looking for Vic for your sister right looking for Vic more like comes to village says he knows about slavers tells us to come see him we go he ain't there and your sister was Since taken by slavers at another village and never come back we and I go look for her one survivor dude was in bad shape said evil warriors came with magic torches Fire would lick tribe warriors, and they'd go to the spirit. The evil warriors tied up the rest and took off. Sis with them. Friend, we be finding her or die and trying. Sounds like slavers to me. If you found anything out about them, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you find her. Let me ask you something else. I think that's all I need to know. Have you found anything we about them? I know they slavers at Din. When we're free, we're out of here. Something about something else. Travel from Great Saltwater to home of biting lizards. Oh, who's we? Spirits with me, friend. They be all around. Sometimes talk. Kind of like extra bats in the belfry. What spirits? What spirits? Be everywhere. Travel with we and I. Grandpa Bon do most of talking. Him strong spirit. Much honor carrying him. 
keep him close. Easier to touch his spirit. That's why he talked the most. Uh-huh. We and I be glad to have geckos. The little dudes don't bite hard. It's the goldens. They go through your leg like an old pipe stem. All right. Okay. I think. I think that's it. Let's talk to her next. Whole lot of talking. She does the trading and drinks here. Good. I need to barter. I have a lot of stuff to sell. We got. Any, what is that? Oh, gecko pelt. And armor. And money. How much for the armor? A lot. Right. And then meat jerky. I think I actually need one of those for the dog. And outside of that... Maybe that's it. Do you accept these? Are these, are these worth anything? No, they're worth nothing. How about the knife? And how about the water thing? No, that's worth nothing. Uh, Tails? Tails worth anything to you? No, not really. Right, okay. Can't afford the armor. Can't afford that, though. I'll take these back. I'll take those back since... Actually... No, fuck it. You can have them. I, I don't want to carry them around. I'll take the spear. Nice worth 40. Let's just give up straight money. Money for jerky. That's a good trade. I think I need the jerky for the dog anyway. I don't remember... Uh, I have some questions for you. Have you ever heard of Gek? Uh, have you ever heard of Gek? The only way in order to carry the Garden of Eden is through plain old hard work. That's something you tribals just don't seem to understand. But I guess that's the difference between us civilized folk and yourselves. I have a lot of I have a lot to learn. I'd like to be civilized too someday. Civilized? You think you're civilized just because you live in the burnt-out ruins of a before-time town? Tell me something else. I guess. Tell me something else. Tell me about Sulik. He's a tribal. It's working here to pay off a debt he's foolishly incurred. He is not a slave. We don't have slavers here in Klamath. What debt? Got upset one night and had too much booze. Then he was... Good and drunk. He busted up the place, did nearly $500 worth of damage. Just now, getting the place repaired. Why did he get so upset? Said he found out that his sister had been kidnapped by slavers, but you'd have to ask him more about that. He's here until he can pay off the rest of the damage he did while he was drunk. How much does he have to work off? He's supposed to pay off $350. If, it, if he weren't so lazy and shiftless, it would go quicker for him. He's not leaving here until his debt is paid in full. That's a lot of money. I think he's going to be here for a long time. Um, well, he may be slow, but he does sort of grawny after a while. That's enough jaw flapping. Do you have anything else? What if someone else paid the damage? I don't know why anybody would want to pay off his debt, but they, but they could. Bill comes to three fifty, but you wouldn't want to do that. He would only get into trouble again. Oh, all right. Um, I don't like him having to stay here with a bigot like you. Okay, no, not that one. Let's not do name calling. Well, I'm sure he must be happy working for your folks, but I still want to pay his damages. I don't think anyone should be trapped the way he is. Or I guess you're right. I don't have the money to spare. Go for the middle one. See if I can talk it down. If you really want to pay for the damage you cause, I guess all your travels really stick together. Yes, I do. I have enough to pay for the damage that he caused. Maybe it's too much money. Let's say I have enough to pay. Looks like you don't have enough money. Okay. Maybe I'll come back when I have more. I'll come back when I have more. We'll see. We will see. And then I'm sure some of these doors are locked. No, not locked. Okay. I'll just pop in here then behind the scenes and look. Oh, wow. Okay. Stim pack and some more money. Wooden door. All sorts of neat stuff lying around. That one's locked. All right. All right. I could try to break it down. Let's go for it. Ah! End combat. Anybody pissed off that I just punched on the door? No? Nobody knows? Okay, good. Uh, old pile of boxes. What did we got? Golden gecko pelt. Damn, that's got to be worth something. There's a shelf back here I missed. It's on the shelf. 
bookcase, some more pelts. Can't carry that much. Let's drop off another stinger. These things are heavy as hell. And I'll take those pelts. Maybe they'll sell well. Maybe they don't. Find out in just a second. We'll talk to her again. Barter. Hello, howdy. What do we got here? 125 for that one. Jesus. 225 for that one. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. That means we can take the money. Whoops. No, I want all the money. Take off the golden gecko pelt. Take off the golden gecko pelt. Brings down to 100. All right, fine. Take off 81. 180. One, yeah, 100, 100. Good. Hard to see between 0 and 8. That's a good trade. Okay. Apparently, apparently you don't have to match it exactly. Somebody said it can be kind of sort of roughly there. Uh, that might depend on barter skill, though. Not sure. All right, well, enough of that place. God damn, we're there for fucking ever. Try to move on a little faster here. Golden Gecko? What do we got? A sign? Golden Gecko, is this like a bar? Yeah, looks kind of like it. Kid runs out maniacally. See a short, swarthy man smiling at me. Hello there, welcome to the tavern, hotel, trading post. Sajag, I run the place, what can I do for you? Barter? What do you have? Uh, pipe rifles, a pistol, a legit pistol, stim packs, leather jacket, money, a melee weapon. Intriguing. I'm interested in the leather jacket. I'm also interested in that metal armor, but I can't quite afford that stuff right now. I suppose I'll sell. I'll keep the spear for now, just in case. I want to hang on to these because I'm not sure if I can turn them into antidote or not. Don't really have anything else to sell. So we'll leave it at that, and I'll take 40 of these money. Actually, let's see if I can hike it up a bit. 40, 45, offer. Not good enough. Let's take off a few. 40, 42? No. Okay, fine. Take off two. 40, 40. Eh, that's a good trade. I don't think my barter's high enough to haggle a bit like that. The buy a round of drinks just introduce myself? No. No. Um... I'm, I'm actually good. Got all kinds of things right here. Healing supplies. Right, right, right. Special sources. You must be able to give me a really good price. Like to make you one of my special friends. Sweetheart. Grins. It's not easy to get the stuff from the den. Tell you what, I'll give you a special price on what I've got. Oh. Well then. Still too much for leather jacket. Okay, I think that's actually a worse price. What a bastard. Okay. Never mind then. Uh, I'll, I'll sell that. Why not? Yeah. 125. Actually, if I can sneak in a few. 125 for 130? No. All right, fine. 125 for 126? No. All right. We'll just keep it equal for now. And I think that'll be it. Goodbye. Anyone else? Bar patron? Some dude. Uh, oh, some dude eating some jerky. Tall, graying man with tinkered of beer. Or some dude. Let's talk to you. That's just my educated opinion, but I can see by the way you move that you could be worth a few pointers. Pointers with what? Sweet science, of course. The sporting art. Talking about magic? You can teach me magic spells? No. What are you talking about? Pugilism, the manly, uh, womanly art of hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's what I mean. I do do that. I think I already know more. Well, I guess we could use some help with that. Let's go outside and see what I can teach you. It's all about getting your whole wee body to snap just like a whip. Uh-huh. Several sweaty hours later. So you see what you were doing wrong then? Yes, I do. That was great. Let me give you ten bucks and some brew on me. It's the least I can do. Oh, uh, thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Let's not hand out money. I'd like to see if I can get that guy out of his, uh... They, they don't call it slavery. Out of his debt. I'd like to see if I can fix that for him. Get him on my team. Take care of yourself, anyone else. Just tell him that fighting John Sullivan taught you how to fight that way. Will do, John. Thanks. Goodbye. Did I actually improve? Helped me improve melee and unarmed combat. 150 points. Our number is at 100 now. He gave me 10%. Good deal. And 10% to melee as well. 
God, so if I didn't spend those skill points at the very start, could have gotten training and then gone over to this guy and then spent skill points, I could be at like 120-some unarmed right now. But, oh well. I think maybe, can I go back through here? Can I loot this stuff? I don't know what's uh, what's off limits and what isn't. Booze and money. And this door here leading to nothing. Actually, let's close the door here. Just in case. And kick this bitch down. Still can't kick. Oh, got it. Uh, some poster. Fuzzy painting. Like, the painting's actually fuzzy or of fuzzy. Image of a singer. Obviously very old. The image has left has a felt coating that is still in good condition. Oh. Weighs 12 pounds. All right, then. Meat jerky. Oh, I didn't need to buy any earlier. And meat jerky. Great. Okay, so far I've lost out on unarmed skill and money. That's fine. Not going for a perfect playthrough. It's pretty much blind. I barely remember any of this game. That one's not locked. Got a dresser. Maybe something on the floor. What is that? Pipe that's been snapped in half. It looks looks like it rusted until it collapsed under its own weight. Oh, God. That thing's old as shit. Nothing else in there. And right up here, bookcase. It looks like that might be an outhouse. We'll see if there's a magazine in there or not. No. All right. Let's head out over to the outhouse. Uh, should I see what's over there? Should I just head back and see if I can fight the geckos? I don't know. I feel like if I fight the geckos, then I can get enough pelts. Yeah, there's a book in here. Cat's Paw Magazine. I still think that's a porno mag. Issue of Cat's Paw Magazine. Yeah. Could be worth something, I suppose. Maybe. Any hidden loot? No? All right. Yeah, I feel like if I were to fight the geckos and manage to kill them and loot them. Great. Property of its owners. Can't even conceive of a use for it. Well, I could use that as a weapon. Maybe. No? Okay. Vix! Hey! Vic? Is Vic in? No? Well, if he's not in, then I suppose he wouldn't mind me rooting through his things. Oh, look at that. Can't carry that much. I'll take the stim pack, the bullets, the radio. Can't take the gun. Can I unload the gun? I can unload the gun. Take the one bullet that's inside. Let's drop off one of these scorpion's tails. Pick up the gun. Might sell better than a scorpion tail. Anything else to loot in here? No? Just this dresser? Oh my god, drinks and... Deck of tragic cards? Take all! Tons of booze and drinks now. And yet another outhouse? That's like three outhouses all next to each other. Jesus. Anything in here? Is that a thing? No? It's a wall? Alright, nothing in here. Fair enough. Hey, kid. Come here. Have a beer. I used a beer on child. Nothing. Alright, fine. I just fed a kid alcohol and nobody seems to care. Are you... Covered in dust and a smile and a blank look on his face. Were you there but me tour? Nice to, I think if you have really low intelligence, you actually make good conversation with this guy. Nice to meet you, Tor. Anything interesting happening here lately? Bugmen take moo-moos at night. Tor scared. Help, Tor? Uh, I can't, shaking head at Tor. Help you with that. Goodbye. Sure, I'll help you guard the Brahmin. Moomoo's field points east. Now, yes? Um. Yeah, we can do that now. I guess. It's a scorpion? That doesn't seem too bad. Can I actually do an aimed punch? <sighs> kind of. Let's go for standard punches, though. It's a really good chance of hitting. And combat? No. Hostile creatures. What, the Brahmin need to move still? Or are there more? That's it. Just one. 
Can't loot the tail because they're heavier than hell. Is that it? Tor like Yeti, Tor Thang, Bugman bad, no let Bugman eat Moomoos. I hope we can put a stop to these things attacking our Moomoos. Uh, I mean, Brahmin. Don't think anything would attack with both of us here. Holy shit, there's more down there. Okay. Roger, let's pop over here first. Jesus. What do we got? What is that? Rad scorpion limbs? The fuck? Why? Rad scorpion pincers are hollowed out and have a strap with a broken buckle at the end. What, can I, like, use it as a weapon? No. Can I repair it? No. All right. They weigh 10 pounds. They're heavy. I don't know if I can do anything with that or not. We'll see. And some more jerky. Can't carry that, though. Let's drop another uh, drop another stinger and pick up some of this jerky. Maybe it heals me. I don't know. I test, but I'm at full health. And that seems to be the way out. Nothing that I can see hidden among the rocks. No more bugmen up there. Let's just start shit with these guys down here. Let's let him go first. I feel like if I maybe stand kind of sort of in front of him, he'll go. There we are. Got an attack off, but missed. I think I might be able to punch him six times in a row here. Only needed two. 95% chance to hit. Very good. We'll run into the fray and then the turn. Hopefully they kind of sort of gather around me and I can kite them all together as a pack. Um... I don't trust it. Let's move back and then turn. There we go. That's more like it. Hit for six, hit for four, and killed. Moving in, trying to grab all the scorpions if I can. Let's move right about there and end this turn. Because I think you get a bonus for doing multiple kills in one combat sequence. Not sure on that, though. Punch him, miss. Let's move over a little bit. I think I'm cornered. Nope, not cornered. Good. Punch you. Maybe critting you and killing you. No? Alright. Fine. Moving up then. Eh. Hit for five. Just kiting the best I can. Punch him. Killed him. I can move up. So let's punch him once. And then move. Was just enough. Should be able to kill him this turn. And move a bit away from that guy. Slow process, but it's affected. Haven't gotten hit yet. And punch. Punch. Killed him. And there's one more down there. I'd like to get down to him. Oh god, not there. I just ran right into him. Well, so much for taking on them on without taking a scratch. Maybe we'll still get a bonus, though. Uh, killed all the red scorpions. There's that. And 360 experience. I may or may not have gotten a bonus. Hello. Bugs dead. Mumu safe. Tor, thank you. That was when I would pull out a gun and blow the Brahmin away, but uh, don't have a gun. Unfortunately. Moving on. We're in a nice isolated place. I don't know if people would know that I killed Tor if I were to. Mm. I will spare him. 